Good Wednesday afternoon, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm David George. And I'm Mackenzie Davis. Both Missouri and Oklahoma could decide on the fate of recreational marijuana come November. But for Kansas, the debate on legal marijuana continues. 27 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung. Well, she'll be with us later on, but now it's Denisha Richard who's live downtown with how both candidates for Kansas governor stand on that issue. Well, David, I spoke with the owner of the first CBD store here in the state of Kansas, and he says that it should happen already. Marijuana should be legalized. He said that it would be good for the economy, and so many good things will come out of it. But he says that legislators should do what he calls the right thing and legalize it here in the state. Now, you may recall that both Missouri and Oklahoma, they had their voters sign a petition to place legal recreational marijuana on the November ballot. But many voters here in Kansas may be wondering, can we do that here? Well, the Secretary of State's office says no. Only legislators can have a say on what actually goes on any ballot in an election. Now, working for you, we reached out to Governor Lori Kelly and her opponent, Attorney General Derek Schmidt. Governor Lori Kelly says she does support medical marijuana, but she did not comment on recreational marijuana. Derek Schmidt believes that legal recreational marijuana, rather, could have a negative impact on the state. I approach the whole discussion with the idea being that I, I don't want to see us do anything that encourages additional uh, substance abuse and substance addiction in Kansas. Now, a recent poll shows that over 66% of Kansans, they actually do support the legalization of recreational marijuana. Reporting live from the Kansas State Capitol, I'm Denisha Richards.